The best of mountain boots, Sarek Kodu. Good choice for recreational general purpose use for both on or off trail and full time professional users. They are both similar boots, they have the same leather and sewing, no lower sewing at the side or front, higher abrasion areas. The leather is quoted at 2.7mm thick for off trail capability according to Bested, so it's supportive for off trail use with packs. Compared with other brands side by side, the other leather boots we have seen with 2.6 to 2.8mm thickness, the Bested look leather does look thicker. You can compare them for yourselves when you get them. It's not wax. It does look a little suede because of the final sanding finish used at manufacture. You need to condition this before you use it. Then it looks more waxy for water repellency. Starts looking like this K2 leather. The new buck leather has the upper surface sanded. This helps absorb the conditioner faster. They have a 2mm thick rubber rand around the base for extra cut and abrasion protection. The heel buffer is higher on the kodu. Lining is Gore-Tex Performance Comfort. Like most recreational boots from Europe, they have added a fleecy liner to the interior for extra warmth. This can take a little longer to dry. Inside the collar is quite abrasion resistant material and dries reasonably fast compared to leather. It's a good happy medium for full time users. They're both semi rigid boots and can take strap on cramp ons for moderate use for ice. For more serious stuff, you need bales suited for water cramp ons and more rigidity. These boots are classed as general purpose boots. They have some flex for the forefoot for normal walking as shown rather than just fully rigid for climbing. They have a gusset which helps with free forward walking movement. They have good sideward ankle support because of the thick leather and high binding with the lacing. The sole is a classic Vibram Fora. It's a durable well proven general terrain sole. Bested also use proven EVA midsoles, not as impact absorbing as PU, or well not as quite, they're not too bad, but PU is a little bit, a bit better. So for full time use you may want to look at the PU type because of the continual impact of the joints is better for absorbing with PU midsoles. So if you're on your feet working all day every day, go PU I reckon. The good thing about EVA is it gives you a bit more edge support while climbing, it says it's firmer. It also stores better in the cupboard when you put them away for recreational users because PU can, can be prone to hydrolysis and storage. We believe PU midsoles are better for professional or high milers. EVA will wear faster than PU, however, because it's pretty well sandwiched between the sole and upper boot. This gives it plenty of abrasion protection. EVA is lighter than PU midsoles and best to have combined this light composite internal shank instead of nylon. This EVA and composite combination is lighter. We have weighed nylon versions of similar type from other brands and they have been around 100 grams to 250 grams per boot heavier in UK9. Example this light hikes K2 UK9 is about 100 grams heavier. That was the lightest of the nylon ones. Some of the welted on soles where they've sewn the upper through to the midsole were even heavier than this and over 250 grams more. That's over half a kilo extra on your feet which translates to carrying an extra 5 kilos on the body because each gram on your feet is 10 times of energy expenditure for your body when you're moving. Um, these bested boots are all resolable, should mention that, obviously with this unit here. So that's good for the longevity of the boot, it saves you money, and it's great for recycling, so it's a good thing for the environment as well. The main difference between these two models is that the Serac is for extra wide feet. You can see this in the insoles, the width of them. And the Kodu is for just about everybody else. Um, the Serac insole is also made of poron and it's formed for good arch support. The poron 
is a good material to make these insoles out of because it doesn't go out of shape over time it just stays the same and it fits in the boot nice and snugly and it's not hard like a fiberglass orthotic that sort of thing can destroy your inside of your boot in no time so these boots with these insoles are great for foot support for professional users.